Miss Collier explains highest common factors and lowest common multiples. Today, our learning intentions are to know the meanings of the words highest common factor and lowest common multiple, to be able to find the highest common factor of two numbers, and to be able to find the lowest common multiple of two numbers. We will know we are successful when we can find the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of two numbers. Let's look at the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple. People use highest common factors when calculating equivalent application rates. Some examples of these are pool owners, when they simplify a manufacturer's chlorine application rate, farmers, when they have to calculate equivalent fertilizer rates, nurses and chemists, when they are figuring out equivalent medication rates. So anytime we're using rates, we could be using highest common factors. And of course, students are using LCMs in their lunchbox all the time. So you should have previously learned about factors and multiples. And if you're not sure about that, stop and go watch my other video on that because we're going to use those same steps now. Remember that factors are always less than our number. So here my given number is 12. So factors are always going to be equal to or less than 12. And we have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Those are all factors because they fit inside of 12 and they're smaller than 12. And then remember multiples are the same size or larger than your number because they multiply up. So here we have examples 12, 24, 36, 48, and it continues for infinity. And they are multiples because they are larger than our given number. So now you know how to find a factor of one number. Sometimes we might need to know which factors are common between two numbers. And often we're going to want to know the highest of that. So that's when we can use the highest common factor. There are many different situations where we might use highest common factors. This is going to be simplifying fractions. We're going to use it in algebra. This is going to be a skill that you're going to use throughout lots of mathematics. So it's definitely something I would make sure that you know very well how to do the steps for. And much the same, there might be times when you need to know common multiples between two numbers. Let's start with highest common factor or HCF. As the name suggests, it refers to the highest common factor. So that means first of all, we're going to find the factors of the two numbers. And then we're going to look which ones do they have in common. And then we're going to pick which one is the highest. So let's have a quick go. Our numbers are often provided for us or given to us within a different question. So I've got these ones provided to me, which is 24 and 40. When we're doing the highest common factor, we actually work backwards. So the first step we do is find the factors. So remember, we think of what are the numbers that multiply together to make these numbers. Now, I'm going to go semi quickly. And if you're not sure of this process, again, go back to the factors and multiple video and really practice finding your factors and multiples. So I'm just going to show you quickly how to do it. So 24, that's 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, and 5 doesn't go in. So then I'm done because then I've moved to 6 and that's stopped because I've crossed over. So those are all my factors of 24. Let's do the factors of 40. So of course I have 1 and 40. I've got 2 and 20. 3 doesn't go. 4 and 10. 5 and 8. 6 doesn't go into 40 and 7 doesn't go into 40. So there I've got it. So out of my HCF, I've done the F part now. I found all the factors. Next, what I want to do is do the C part, which is the common. Which factors do these two numbers have in common? I like to use a highlighter or a different colored pen, and I like to underline all the ones that they have in common. They both have one, two, they don't have three, so four, no, not five, eight, not 10, not 12, not 20, 24, 40. So they've got four numbers in common, one, two, four, and eight. So the numbers one, two, four, and eight go into both 24 and 40. All of these would be useful, but it's often that we need the highest one. And the reason for this is, let's say we were trying to simplify a number in a fraction or something like that, which you might learn later. If I was to divide the number by one, it would stay the same. Or if I divided it by two, it would get smaller, but not small enough. So we often want the highest number. And so I'm going to come here with another pen and I circle the one that's the highest, which for here is eight. 
So the highest common factor of 24 and 40 is 8. Next, we have our trusty LCMs, all right? We're going to find our LCMs, our lowest common multiples, okay? And as the name suggests here, we're looking for the lowest number that they have in common that is a multiple. And we're going to use basically the exact same procedure by working backwards. So I'm going to go LCM and I'm first going to find the multiples. Let's find this for the numbers 20 and the numbers 12. First step is to do the multiples. Now you can't write out all the multiples because they go for infinity. So what I like to do is I just like to write out 5 for each. So I'm going to write out 5 for 20. So it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And then I've got 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60. So I write out 5 for each. Next step, common. Which ones do they have the same? And I'm looking, and they actually only have 60. If I went up a bit higher, I might find more, but I've only found 60 for now. And then I'm going to use the lowest one. Obviously, I can't use the highest one because the numbers go for infinity, so there is no highest one. So I'm going to use the lowest which here is 60, and I'm going to circle that, equals 60. If you've written out 5 for each number and there's none in common, then I like to take the smaller number and I like to keep writing them out until I reach past this high number. So if I'd gone 60, and let's pretend 60 didn't line up, I'd say, okay, 72, still haven't gotten past 100. Then I'd say 84, still haven't gone past 100. And then 96, still haven't gone past 100. And then, what's it, 108, I think? Now I've gone past 100. So then what I like to do, okay, pretend there's no 60. Okay, I write a couple more. So 2, 120. And then I'd write 132, you know, just a couple more, 144. And then once I've done that, then I do the same. Then I swap to the 20 and I write until I've gone past 144. So then I go 120 and then I go, bam, there's one. There's one that they have in common. All right. So if you've done five for each and you still haven't found one, just add a little bit to each side until you finally find one. Let's have a go at finding the highest common factors. Find the highest common factors of 36 and 48. So I like to write 36 and 48. And I want to write, I want to find the H, C, F. So first thing I want to do is find the factors. All right, that's number one. That's the first thing we're going to do. So let me write them out. I'm going to go 1 and 36, 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4, and 9, 5, doesn't go, and 6 times 6. So we just do it once. I reach the middle, I stop. Okay, 1, and 48, 2, 24, 3, and 16. If you're struggling with this part, you can use a calculator to just check Okay, you can't, you can't type into your calculator to find the factors, but you can check 48 divided by 3, does it work? No. Or well, yes, it does, 16. Um, 48 divided by 4, does that work? Yes, that's 12. Okay, but try and do as much of it as you can in your brain because you will need to have this skill that you can just use. 5 doesn't go. And 6, oh yep, 6 times 8. 7 doesn't go. So there, I'm done. So step 1, find the factors, done. Step two, what do they have in common? Okay, that's the second thing. Okay, so they've got one in common, two, three, four, six, twelve. Um, what is the highest? All right, that comes third. What's the highest? That's twelve. There we go. Now, my question is written as a sentence, so I'm going to write my answer as a sentence. The highest common factor of 36 and 48 is 12. You have a go at finding the highest common factor of 30 and 48. Let's check your answers. I'm going to fly through this quickly. 30 and 48. The factors of 30 are 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 5 and 6. The factors of 48 are 1 and 48. 
2 and 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, 6 and 8. Okay, so I've done the factors. Now I want to find the ones that are in common. 1, 2, 3, 6. Hmm, that's it. And the highest one is a 6. So I'll we'll add it. The highest common factor of 30 and 48 is 6. Alright, let's have a go at finding the LCMs. Found them. Okay, A. Step 1. M. Write them out. So 5, I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay? And then we're going to go 11. 11, 22, 33, 44, 55. Now I'm going to look for the ones that are common. I don't have any. This is a perfect example for me to show you what we can do next. So remember, we're going to go for our smallest number. And I'm going to go up until I reach past 55. 30, 35, 40, 45. None of these are matching. Remember, I'm checking if they're matching. 50, 55. Bam! I hit a match. There we go. 55 and 55. They match. So now I can stop. The reason I can stop is because I'm looking for the lowest common one. So as soon as I find one, that's there's not going to be one lower because I can check. Nothing else is lower. So there I found it. So the lowest common multiple of 5 and 11 is 55. B. B, I have 6 and I have 10. So remember, I write out 5 of them. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now you probably already spotted it. I've got a common there already. I've got 30 as my common. It is the lowest. So the lowest common multiple of 6 and 10 is 30. You have a go at try finding some LCMs. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's check our answers, shall we? So A, 4 and 7. So we've got 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. If you struggle with counting, you should practice that a bit. If you're counting up in your numbers. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. None. So I'm going to have to go up with my 4s. 24, still none. 28, there we go, hit it. 28. So the LCM of 4 and 7 is 28. And B. 9 and 15. These ones a bit harder. Okay, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45. 15. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. There we go. I got it. 45. So the LCM of 9 and 15 is 45. So I hope now you can find the highest common factor of two numbers and the LCM of two numbers.